Um, lower back pain. My back was giving out. I would do something like grab something off the floor and all of a sudden it would send me to my knees. I'd be laying on the floor mm -hmm. with excruciating pains running up and down my back. Um, there were no doctors out there that knew how to treat me. So I went to my general practitioner. He didn't know what to do. I went to a local chiropractor who was a good chiropractor. Um, I had a couple adjustments and it didn't feel like it helped. And then I kept having this recurring problem. So I went to work and I complained to all my friends about it. And I actually, um, a, another patient, Dr. Natoli's, told me, he said, listen, I know everybody's told you about a million different doctors, but this guy's different, and let me tell you why. And he sat me down, and I was desperate. And he said, he's the only guy that does this muscle adhesion therapy. So I was desperate, and I was like, I will try anything. So I made an appointment, and they came in. It's the best thing I ever did. <laughs> um, the muscle adhesion therapy, because you can't, people don't do that. And they try to, you say I have a back problem, and they send you to a chiropractor, or you got to go to a bone doctor and you know they, they misdiagnose or they don't really know what the problem is and and I work out almost every day and I have friends who have constant chronic problems and now that I know about him I tell everybody like I bet it's muscle adhesion and I don't think you have a back problem and you could probably go to him and get it fixed so I, I just don't think that a lot of people understand that it's not like bone problems that it's you know muscle problems so right yeah it's good stuff um, when I wasn't having these episodes of my back going out all the time, it, they became far and fewer between. Um, I also had um, a hamstring pull that was pretty bad, and he started working on that as well, and it, it started healing. I mean, obviously, I had to lay off of certain workouts and alter, alter things, but um, when I started seeing results and started feeling better and my back wasn't going out all the time, then I told everybody about it. <laughs> told my friends about them. Come in and see them. <laughs> It's way better, but I still have these little episodes, but they're, like I said, they're far and fewer between. Life is a lot more hopeful for me because I'm very, you know, I'm 46, but I'm very active. I work out harder now than I did in my 20s, and uh, I try to keep up with these young little whippersnappers at the gym, and because <laughs> in my mind I'm 25. Um, but I, I love to work out, and I love to be active. I want to be active for my son, so life is a lot more optimistic for me now that I know, and he's forever going to be my doctor. I will always come here until he can never retire or move because I need them. <laughs> so a lot a lot better quality of life for me. Um, I often joke with Dr. Natoli to tell him he should give me a finder's fee because I tell people about him all the time. My trainers at work, they do group classes that have problems themselves and I'm like, you need to come here because I have proven results. And I've actually sent some people here and I think, you know, it's um, getting people to believe and try something different because they're like, oh, I have a chiropractor. Or I have, I'm like, no, this guy's different. So, um, yeah, it's just, I already, I already tell everybody about, it, about his clinic and, and the wonderful work that they're doing here because people at work know about my pains and my aches and they know that I'm getting better. So I think it kind of speaks for itself.